There's been a wave of attacks on religious buildings across the U.S. According to a study from the Council on Islamic American Relations, there were more attacks on U.S. mosques in 2015 than there had been in the previous five years. We're talking 71 mosque incidents for 2015. That's up from a previous high of 53 in 2010. The council began its study in 2009. These numbers include vandalism, harassment, intimidation, and clearly identified bias in zoning proceedings. And it's not just mosques. There were five Hindu temple attacks in the first half of 2015, despite a growing Indian population in the U.S., and at least 10 black churches were targeted. Of those 10, nine were cases of arson, which is historically a problem for black churches. A law signed in 1996 made it easier to prosecute perpetrators who commit crimes against black churches. Going back a few years, there's been a spread of attacks against various places of worship, like the shooting at a Sikh temple in Wisconsin in 2012. There were also four synagogue attacks, all within the first two weeks of that same year. Perception about religion likely plays a part in some of these attacks. In 2014, a study from Pew Research Center found that overall, Americans tend to feel most positive about Jews, Catholics, and evangelical Christians, and least positive about Mormons, atheists, and Muslims. That study also shows the average rating given to these groups could have something to do with familiarity. For example, only 38% of participants said they knew a Muslim. More participants were familiar with Catholics, evangelical Christians, and Jews. So is there a solution? Some hope the introduction of a recent resolution into the House will at least help. Aimed at combating Islamophobic rhetoric and violence, the resolution urges local and federal law enforcement authorities to work to prevent hate crimes and to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law those perpetrators of hate crimes. For Newsy, I'm Melissa Prax. Thank you.